Hey folks, this is Adam, and we are here today to show you how to use the Spike Solo Panel. And this is gonna be great, because I designed it and it's awesome. The Solo Panel comes with the panel itself, six foot power cable, 120 volt or 240 volt, depending on which you choose, and 10 foot temperature sensor cable. Things like elements, element power cords, temp sensors, etc., are all available online in our store. The solo panel is designed to have versatile mounting options. It can rest flat or horizontal on any table, mounted vertically on a wall, or use the rotating spike solo panel stand. Depending on how you mount your panel, you're able to route your cables upward or downward from behind your panel. Simply unhook the cables from their secured position in the J-hook and route them how you prefer. You'll want to connect your panel to a kettle that has a heating element and temperature sensor in it. For a full solo system, these components are included. They are also available separately on the Spike website. First, connect your heating element. Twist to lock the plugs together. Connect your brew pump to the pump cable. If you're using a Spike steam condensing lid, you can plug the condensing pump to the aux cable. Otherwise, you can use the aux for a phone charger, laptop charger, or anything else you'd like. The cables on the panel are clearly labeled to indicate which is which. Connect your temperature sensor using the supplied cable. Make sure each end of the cable snaps into place. Lastly, connect your panel to the wall using the power cable. The 120-volt version uses a standard three-prong plug. The 240 volt version uses a 1430P NEMA style 30 amp 4 prong plug. Your panel is now ready to use. To power up your panel, flip the switch underneath the front. The display will turn on and after a few seconds, show the home screen. The panel has an internal cooling fan and you'll hear a soft hum in the background while it's turned on. Before turning on, Make sure your kettle is filled with water and your pump is primed before using your panel. To turn on your brew pump, flip the middle toggle switch to the on position. Now we'll set our mash temperature. Switch the mode knob to mash. This will put your controller into a mode that controls the exact temperature output. Turn the rotary dial to the desired mash temperature. To enter the value, push the dial in once. The value will blink yellow until selected. Flip the element toggle switch to the on position to begin heating the water. The controller will now keep your mash temps within one degree of your desired setting. Next, we'll show you how to boil your wort. Switch the mode knob to boil. This will put your controller into a mode that controls the percentage output of your element to get the perfect rolling boil. Turn the rotary dial to the desired percent output and push the dial in to lock in the desired percent setting. During the boil phase, you may want to use your steam condensing lid. To operate the condenser pump, flip the bottom toggle switch to the on position. The solo panel can read temperature degrees in Fahrenheit or Celsius. To change the desired temperature, hold the main rotary knob down for three seconds. The screen will then show the device settings menu. Select unit and use the rotary dial to select and enter the desired unit. Then, select Back to Home Screen to return to the main page. Sometimes, there is a difference between the recorded temperature of the sensor in the middle of your grain bed. The solo panel has the option to add in a temperature offset to account for this difference. To change the offset value, hold the main rotary knob down for three seconds the screen will then show the device settings menu. Select Temp Offset and use the rotary dial to select and enter the desired unit. Then, select Back to Home Screen to return to the main page. When your brew day is complete, flip all toggle switches back to off and turn the unit off using the main power switch underneath the front. The screen will go dark and it will be ready for your next brew day. All right, well there you have it folks, the spike panel, super simple to use and looks good while doing it. 
you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to our customer experience team or head to our website or YouTube channel where we've got lots of other great content on this product and all the other stuff we make. See you later.